Welcome to Making 10. In this lesson I'm learning to add three or more numbers by first making up pairs that add up to 10. Well, over here you can see I've got three piles of counters. I've got six in this pile, two in this pile, and four in this pile. Now to start with I need to look for pairs of numbers which I can combine which will make 10. Well looking at these numbers, I can see that 6 plus 4 equals 10, so let's see what happens when we put them on the 10s frame. So I'll start by putting my 6 counters on my 10s frame. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and now I'm going to put on my 4 counters. And you can see that we were right, 6 plus 4 equals 10. And now I just have two more counters to place on my tens frame. So now I have ten counters plus two more counters equals twelve. Let's try another question. Uh, this time I've got four piles of counters. I've got three counters in this pile, eight counters in that pile, two counters over here, and one counter over here. So now, just like last time, I'm going to look for numbers I can combine, which will make 10. Well, I can see 8 plus 2 equals 10, but let's just check by putting them on the 10s frame. So I'm going to start by putting my uh, 8 counters on first. So that's all my eight counters on, and now I'm going to add these two counters. And you can see that we were right, we filled one tens frame, because eight plus two equals ten. So that just leaves me with three more counters from over here, I'll put them on my tens frame, and add in this one. So you can see I now have one full tens frame, so I have 10 plus these four counters. 10 plus 4 equals 14. Now let's try some questions without using any materials. Let's imagine I had a pile, pile of two counters, plus another pile with seven counters in it, plus another pile with eight counters in it and I want to work out how many counters I have in total. So just like last time, I'm going to look for numbers that join together to make 10. Well, I can see that 2 plus 8 would equal 10. So I can write that 10 down here, and then I just have the 7 still to add. 10 plus 7 is 17. So the answer to 2 plus 7 plus 8 is 17. Let's try another one. Uh, this time let's imagine I had a pile of three counters, plus a pile of four counters, plus a pile of seven counters, and I want to work out how many I have in total. So again I look for two numbers that I can combine to make ten, and in this example I can see three plus seven would equal ten. So I can say ten plus the 4 equals 14. So 3 plus 4 plus 7 equals 14. Now let's finish with one which is a, a little bit harder. Uh, this time let's imagine I've got two counters, and then I've got another pile with five counters, and another pile with eight counters, and another pile with five counters, and another pile with one counter, and I want to work out how many I've got in total. So I'm going to start by doing just what I've done in all the other examples. I'm looking for numbers over here that I can group together to make 10. Well I can see one combination would be adding the 2 and the 8. If I add the 2 and the 8 together, I get 10. So I could write that over here. 
Now I can see two other numbers which, which I can add together which will also make 10. I could put this 5 plus this 5, that would equal 10. So I can add another 10. Now I can see I've still got this 1 left over so I need to add that as well. So I'll write that over here. So I've got 10 plus 10 plus 1. So that equals 21. So the answer to 2 plus 5 plus 8 plus 5 plus 1 is 21. Well I hope you've found this lesson helpful. For more help check out teachertools.co.nz